Koboko is a far-flung district in northwestern Uganda with a population of over 160,000 people known as the Kakwa. The vast majority of the locals are tobacco farmers, although a crop of business people has recently emerged to cash in on the lucrative trade with neighboring South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Enterprising youngsters in town have set up these open-air butcheries to earn some income. Meat is a huge delicacy for many of the Kakwa people and I'm at Haraka Butchery where many of the ordinary folk come to enjoy beef and goat meat. Right behind me here are a couple of goat heads that have just been slaughtered and I can see here some testicles that the butcher men here give to the ordinary people. These got testicles are called tula and they are just delicious. Life is quite tough deep in the villages for many of the people who are at the mercy of the weather for their crops. The Northern Uganda Youth MP Evelyn Anite visited the area to improve the lot of her people. She began her mission with a climb up the imposing Liru mountain to seek blessings from the elders. Young girl of ours has roamed up to lead the people of Koboko in the position of the member of parliament. The prayers that he gave me was uh, a sign of appreciation that I, I am a child who knows and who values culture. The MP then set off to Lubule sub-county where she was given a grand reception by a group of women dressed like schoolgirls. <laughs> This excitement was born from the realization that the youth MP was launching a grinding mill in their village. Dozens of women here struggle to play the role of wives, mothers and breadwinners. <laughs> The poor condition of the rural folk in Koboko district illustrates the challenge that the government faces in improving the social, economic and political situation of the masses to a middle income status in the near future. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, Koboko district.